Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Laura, and today I want to show you guys what I'm taking with me to the hospital. Um, this is a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I'm 35 weeks pregnant today, and um, I've been really wanting to make this video and show you guys what um, I'm taking with me for my stay. My stay should only be about 24 hours. Um, I spoke with the doctor, and she said the stay, because of COVID um, and the pandemic right now, the stay is about a day, 24 hours after labor. So that's what I'm packing for. Um, she said if you get a C-section, your stay is about one to three days. Now, I don't want to have a C-section. Uh, there's no medical reason for me to have a C-section that I know of um, right now. So I'm packing for one day. And I've been watching tons of videos on what people take with them. This is my first baby. So based off of those videos, I really wanted to feel comfortable. But at the same time, I didn't want to overpack. So um, I'm keeping in mind uh, like all the stuff that they have, that they should have already at the hospital. Like diapers and all that. Like stuff for the baby. So we can start with the baby bag. Okay. Um, I know the hospital is going to have like diapers, wipes, and all that, those type of things. So I didn't pack any diapers, wipes, stuff like that. So I'll just show you what I have in here. This is the baby's bag. This bag actually was gifted to me. So I don't know where they got it. So um, if you want one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you could get one. I'm sorry. But it's really cute. Like insulated and everything inside okay so first thing I have here is a receiving blanket I'm just just bringing one receiving blanket because I know that they're gonna wrap him in like one of those receiving blankets but this little cute one had puppies on it and I just thought it was so adorable so I'm taking that for pictures. I'm also bringing him this long swaddle that says love, 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 love. <laughs> and he's gonna be loved very much. So yeah, two blankets, technically. Um, actually, I lied. <laughs> One more blanket because it's winter here and it's already getting cold. Like today, I was freezing my butt off when I went to the doctor. And um, so, I'm going to bring him this blanket for the car ride home so I can cover him up and he can be extra warm. It's just a cute gray blanket and it's so soft. It feels so soft. Okay, three blankets. <laughs> <clears throat> Next, I have his coming home outfit. Um, this is because I want to keep him warm. So he has a long sleeve onesie and um, this vest from Carter's. And it comes with some little shoes, which... I don't know if he's gonna wear them, but if it's cold, I might as well try putting them on him. So he has his shoes. He has socks, and I love baby socks. <laughs> They're so cute, so adorable. Um, also a hat because I want to keep him nice. And warm. <laughs> and then, um, his pants. I almost forgot. His pants. Little black pants to match his hat. And, um, brought him a, a, a emergency outfit as well. So just another pair of pants. A little onesie. 
case he has a little blowout or something. Um, an extra hat. And a bib. So when I feed him at the hospital, he can stay clean. Well, as clean as he can stay. And, of course, some more socks. And I think... I know I packed something else in here. This is the baby's bag. Um, nothing in there, nothing in that pocket. Let's see. So yeah, I know um, I'm not going to need this, but in case you make a stop on the way back home from the hospital, some, some travel wipes that I got from um, one of those gift registry boxes, and a little booty cream. I didn't bring a diaper because I know they're going to give me diapers and they're going to have diapers at the hospital. So, I'll just take one of those on the way back. In case. Just in case. And that's all that's in the baby's bag. So now the next bag I'm going to show you is going to be my bag. Okay? Okay. Next bag is my bag. And I opted for a book bag because... Um, when you're having a baby, I'm assuming you don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff. I mean, you're just gonna have you just had a baby, right? And you're gonna carry the baby in a car seat, probably, or carrying him by hand. So I think a, a book bag. Excuse me. <clears throat> I think a book bag is the best thing. I think a book bag is the best thing to carry my stuff. All right, let's see. What I put in here, I packed this bag yesterday, and um, I think a good tip is to know how long you're going to be at the hospital, watch videos, and just make a list, and then, you know, start packing your bag like a month before you're due, because you never know, baby could come early, late, tomorrow, who knows. Okay, so... What I have here is pajamas, just some regular pajama pants, um, button up pajama shirt so that I can just pop a boob out and try to feed him if I have milk. I don't know if I'm going to have milk. I have no idea what's going on. I don't think I'm going to have milk just because my boobs hurt sometimes, but there's no leakage and nothing like that going on yet, and I'm already 35 weeks, so I don't think I'm going to have milk, but in case I do, the button, the button down pajama uh, shirt. Okay, this is a shirt, a comfy white shirt, just a regular white shirt, nothing fancy. More pajama pants. Just got these. So I'm actually excited to put these on. Because when I put these on, um, this is actually what I plan to wear once I get out the shower. Because I know I'm going to want to shower after giving birth. And this is actually what I'm going to put on after that first shower. And I got these new because there's nothing better than like taking a shower and putting on new clothes. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to wear that with the white shirt. Um, some new crisp white socks too because, again, that new feeling. That brand new, brand new birth feeling. Okay, I got a nursing bra. got these from Amazon. I tried one on the other day just to make sure that they still fit because I had got them when I was like three months pregnant. Because I was so excited. I just want to shop and buy a bunch of stuff. So I put them on the other day to make sure they still fit. And they do. Um, they're really comfortable. Uh, if I can link them below, I will for you guys. Okay? If I, if I remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll try to remember. Okay. So I got a white one as well. And actually, I do remember that when I got this um, nursing bras, I think I got like five of them for like real cheap, like 30 bucks or something. 
And I think when you go to like Target and places like that, one bra is like 30. So I would get them from Amazon if I were you. Um, I got this. This is a back massager. Don't know if I'll use it, but if I am feeling in pain and I'm up for it, I'm going to have my boyfriend rub my back with that. Um, let's see. I know the hospital gives you socks, but these, I don't know, I just felt compelled to buy them. They're compression socks, and they were pretty cheap, so... I don't know, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just try that. I've never wore compression socks. So that was just something that I kind of like spontaneously threw in there. Um, also, when I get out of the shower, I'm one of those people that um, if my hair is wet, when I get out of the shower and it's not dry and it, and it stays wet for a long time, I get headaches. So I'm bringing this. It's one of those hair wraps, you know. So I'm bringing this as well. Um, a loofah for the shower. Um, an underwear. Just a regular black underwear. <laughs> I, I'm probably not going to use it. Um, probably going to be just in diapers, you know, but I was thinking maybe. Maybe I'll just put it over the diaper. It sounds funny saying that. I'll put it over the diaper. And then I got this. Had it for a while. I just like keeping it in the box so it stays um, damage free and all that. So yeah, a Polaroid, and I have a Polaroid refill cartridges as well. All right, that was all that was in the first pocket. So this seems like a lot already. It was sorry about that, but just trying to be comfy. Um, okay, so I got a toothbrush and a, a toothbrush for my boyfriend. You know, you don't want to have stinky breath. And I just have this full of toiletries, you know, things that make me feel fresh and clean. Uh, just, it's just deodorant, toothpaste, lotion, mouthwash. Um, what else do I got in here? A sample of nipple cream. Which I'm pretty sure the, the hospital will have it, but just in case, this is the uh, the one I got. This is the one I got from those registry baby registry boxes, so might as well, you know, take it with me. Try it out. I got a little hair tie in here, a little razor because I'm a hairy beast, and uh, Q-tips because I love cleaning my ears when I get out the shower. I feel gross. Like if I don't do that and I feel like there's wetness in my ears, it feels disgusting. So yeah, um, I don't know why I, I wanted to tell you guys this, but these little bottles, they used to be like a dollar, right? I think they're like a dollar fifty now. So what I do is I just use them all up when I do get them and then I just refill it with the shampoo or conditioner that I have in the house so I was like go back out and buy another one so this says herbal essence but who knows what kind of shampoo is actually inside <laughs> well I know but you know alright so I got some face wipes I got these from Five Below I think they were $1.25 and there are the strawberry scented ones. And they do, they do smell like strawberry. <laughs> yeah, they smell me like. And Vicks. But these are, this, I think this is, yeah, this is the Up and Up brand Vicks. But same thing as Vicks. It smells so good. I know. <laughs> That, that might be weird to some people, but I just love the smell of Vicks. Like, it's something comforting about it. So, I know people like to bring essential oils and stuff like that to the hospital. 
but for me, I was like, oh, maybe I'll bring an essential oil, but I was like, what essential oil am I going to bring, you know? And I was like, no, fix. <sighs> so, uh, I don't know. I don't know the word for it. It's so comforting, I guess you could just say. It's just comforting for me. Like, if I have a hard time sleeping, too, if I put this on, like, in my nostrils or my chest, it helps me go to sleep. So, I think this will be good. A hairbrush, guys, because, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay beautiful. So, I got this from the dollar store. Uh, let's see, let's see what else I got here. Try not to make this too long. Um, breast pads, just in case. I think the hospital has them. I'm not sure. Um, in case they don't, I just have a pair. One for each. Ta-ta. And, um, the famous diaper that everyone talks about on YouTube. Um, I know they give you pads and stuff like that. But, I am kind of picky about my pads. So, if I don't like theirs, I will, I only brought two. Because I'm only going to be there for one day and... I figured I'd just bring them, just in case. Um, because normally, I am, well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but, yeah, I'm a heavy bleeder, so, after birth, I won't be surprised if it looks like a murder scene down there. So I think that's good to have extra, in case I don't want to ask for it more, or whatever, you know? Alright, I we're almost done with this bag, okay? Promise. <laughs> And then we'll move on to the snack bag. Um, the cartridge refill I was talking about for the Polaroid, I brought one. In this pocket, I have a mask. I don't. I always carry a mask in my purse, which I'm also bringing. Um, also, my makeup's already in there, my purse, and so is my um, wallet. So, I'm not showing you guys that. I'm taking this because I got it from the dollar store. It's pretty cute, and it's actually comfortable. Sorry, a little indigestion there. Um, or heartburn, I guess. Anyway, I thought this was cute. It's like only a dollar. I was like, oh, maybe I'll take that with me too. And what else do I got here? Oh yeah, everyone's talking about bring an extra long cable with you. So <laughs> I got one. I was like, you know what, why not? Went to Five Below, because you know, these cords are so expensive at Target. They're like $14 for like a cord. What? What are they, what are they on? $14 for a cord? So, I went to Five Below and got mine. And uh, of course, the Target piece. So yeah, guys. Oh, sorry. I'm not done yet. Um, my flip-flops are in here. They're just plain black flip-flops that I took with me to the beach this last year. Um, so, I'm taking those. And once I'm done using those, I'm just going to toss them. Because they've been to the beach. They've been to the beach hotel bathroom. <laughs> now they're going to be in the hospital bathroom. And I'm kind of a germaphobe. I don't really like the idea of bringing home those type of journey. I don't know. It just freaks me out. So, with that being said, I also got some slippers. <sighs> okay. I got some slippers. And, uh, I'm debating on actually taking them to the hospital. <laughs> like, I want to because I know they're going to be comfortable. But then, like I said, I don't want to step on dirty stuff at the hospital and then come home and want to use them and then they're dirty and I'm going to be all paranoid. So, if I'll be surprised if I actually wear them at the hospital. I'm going to bring them, but I might not wear them. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it depends on how I'm feeling. If I can manage without wearing them, then I won't wear them. Alright guys, um, I'm going to grab the next bag and then we'll be done. Okay, so stay tuned. 
Alright guys, last bag is the snack bag because I get hungry <laughs> and so does my boyfriend. So this is what I got for snacks. I have went to the dollar store and I got all my snacks from there because it's only gonna be there for one day. If I'm if I'm I didn't bring any drinks because well I'm not bringing any drinks because um, they have vending machines and stuff like that. And I don't want to carry liquids. Liquids are heavy. So, I'll pay for my drinks or order them, whatever. But, my snack is can't in the dollar store. I'm bringing some pretzels. Um, white cheddar popcorn. And, um, sour cream and onion stacks. I kind of wish they had more stuff like this, like with a top. It's like a re-close, you know. But I do want popcorn, so so yeah, some some sour cream, lace, Jolly Ranchers for when I'm in labor, <laughs> and I want something like something sweet. I also got, I kind of like got stuff that they already have at the hospital that I know I would probably want while I'm there, but I just don't have to pay for them. Like a dollar seventy-five for some chips of hoys. You know? I got some little Oreos. They're so cute too, look. From the dollar store. This is my first time seeing these little ones. But it comes in a pack of, there's four of them for a dollar. So, 25 cents per <laughs> two cookies. Um, and then I got some candy. Put them in here. My boyfriend wants Kit Kat. So I got Kit Kat. I love Reese's. So I got the Reese's for me. And leftover Halloween candy. <laughs> and some gum. Because I like gum too. And then while I was at the dollar store, I saw this, and I was like, oh, you know, just in case things don't go so fast as I want them to, I got me a word find. So that'll be a, this is my pastime, just in case I get kind of bored and we're sitting there. Hopefully that's not the case, because I plan on laboring at home as much as possible. I even got a birth ball yesterday to try to, like, ease later pains and get baby engaged and all that good stuff so so yeah guys um that's pretty much it also um if you want to pack your boyfriend's bag for him that's totally fine um me uh i already told him what he needs to bring he has a book bag i got him a book bag that's as far as i'm going <laughs> he knows to bring clothes and um his phone and charger and stuff like that. I already have enough on my mind, so I don't... We don't live together, you know? So I'm not going to be worried about packing his bag. He said he was going to be fine anyway, so I'm not too worried about his bag. As long as he's there, I'm present, and the baby's there. We really have everything that we need, right? The hospital gives pretty much everything that you need. Um, I feel like all this stuff, in a way... It's kind of unnecessary, to be honest with you. But, you know, just for our own comfort and everything and have a good first time experience, I think it's good to bring these things with you. Just bring whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they have everything. I, I think they have everything for you already. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I was really excited to make it. And um, wish me luck. And... Um, if you're pregnant as well and you're about to, you know, be due for your baby, congratulations. I hope everything goes well for you as well. Um, until next time, guys. Goodbye.